Hello, welcome to the vlog. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, it's been a while since we posted. Um, lots of reasons why. Um, unfortunately, one of them is health related, but such is. Right, why are we here today? Got another one of these beauties to try out. It's the All Powers R1500, so R1500. Um, solar generator. Now, you know how we test these. We uh, stick on the slow cooker and see if this little beauty will last the whole length of the time it takes to cook what we're gonna cook. So, first of all, let's show you how you can charge this thing. So right, I've got the solar panels that go with the charger set up and it is a gorgeous sunny day. I don't know if you can see that, we're getting 123 watts of charge on, 124 watts of charge on the solar. Um, but it is a nice sunny day. First one we've had in a very long time. Uh, I believe these are 200 watt panels. Um, I will check and if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description. But we're getting, as I say, 132 now, 133. So it's climbing, it's climbing all the time. I don't know how well the, uh, it's picking this up, but um, 145 watt it's putting in and it's still climbing, so. Excellent. A few moments later. Power has passed. We're now at 142 watts input and 80%. So, what was it, 65? So, 15% in an hour. So that's not doing bad. Let's keep going. So the solar panels, absolutely brilliant for when you're camping, um, stick the solar panels in, great. You go out, leave it on charge. Even if this doesn't manage it, it will still keep charging and it will still keep cooking. 200 watt solar panels, doesn't take a lot really to work out that it will do it. Um, failing that, you can also charge it by the, uh, uh, where are we? 240 volt inlet there or as you see there's a solar the other interesting thing about this is this one you can connect up two units we only have the one so two units would obviously give you uh three kilowatt be absolutely great to give to have three kilowatt um it's also got two um wireless chargers on top USB-C, USB-A, and four, four 240 volt outlets, plus the obligatory cigarette lighter. Right, not gonna bore you with the prep, but I'm gonna prep the food, get it in a slow cooker, and then we'll switch it on, see what the time is, see if it lasts a distance. Back in a minute. And back in the room, right. Everything's prepared in the slow cooker and let's power this on. So he says, oh, right, powered on. Let's show you what's going on. So we're at 100%. Let's, I've got this switched off at the moment. Let's Power this on. 50 hertz, all ready to go. And put this on to high. Ready? What does this do to this? So 115 watts. It says we have eight hours of power. The time is now. five past nine so according to that we should have more than sufficient power to cook this curry let's um 
let's just wait and see, shall we? And anything significant happens, I'll let you know. But this is the R1500, and um, we're performing our normal test on Waggy's Travels to see if it's gonna cook in the slow cooker. Because let's face it, if you're camping, what a better way to do it? Stick it on the, uh, stick it all ready to go, go out for the day, come back, cook meal. Right, see you in about eight hours. What I wanted to show you is the app. Um, I'm just gonna power on the unit. Um, now, the app can connect to the unit by um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, and if you push and hold the um, USB power on buttons, um, it subsequently switches on the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on a device. So let's try again and see if it can find it. There we go. So it's found the APR1500 version 2. If we click that, it then connects to the device. There we go. Right, we're now connected to the actual device. Uh, and as you can see here, 80% um, remaining. Um, it's putting 114 um, watts. Um, which obviously I can't I can't do both I can't show you on the phone and show you on the screen but I can confirm that a pair of them are identical um, you can do a few other things for me which are really useful um, so when you charge the the actual unit you can charge it in three modes which is mute mode which I think is about 200 watt charge you can charge it in standard mode, which uh, I believe is 550 to 600, and then in fast mode is 800 watts. So it will charge it within the hour, really, uh, up to 80%. Um, I always leave it in standard mode because it's nice and quiet, uh, and it doesn't cook the batteries while it's doing it. So anyway, as you can see, we've got output, 114 watts we've got six hours and 55 minutes remaining um seven hours uh we put the cook pot on at five past nine would you believe it is just five past eleven it said we'd have nine hours of charge so i make that something like right let's just turn off the uh, dc um outputs because we don't need them on uh yeah so as you can see the app is absolutely brilliant Right, it is now uh, 10 to 3. So this has been on for nearly five hours. Um, and it is, it is definitely cooked. Um, I can see the steam. That is definitely cooked. So I don't want to overcook it. So I am going to turn this off. But what I want to do is show you um, how much battery it's used, um, how much we've got left, um, and then quickly sum up. So if we come along to this, just with the part. So we've used, what is it, 41% we have left. So we have used, uh, oh, 59% battery. Uh, we're still pulling 76 watts. Um, and we've still got five hours left. Um, lovely little bit of kit, um, and it's powered down. Now, let's just quickly show you like that. So, absolutely brilliant, absolutely, and it smells divine. If this was smelly vision, you'd be really happy. Um, yeah, uh, absolutely brilliant little bit of kit. Um, and um, I'm shortly gonna try out the uh, sandwich toaster. I tell you what, as a, as a sum up, let's just put the sandwich toaster on it, see if it cuts out. So I've got no idea on the amperage on this sandwich toaster, but if we don't plug it, if we don't try it, we won't know, will we? So let's just plug this in and see what it does. So it's 231, 900. Oh yeah, that's definitely making a noise now. 
Yeah, that's definitely making a noise. I'll tell you what, let's very quickly, while we've got, we've still got this running as well. So while that's cracking on, let's very quickly make a toasted sandwich. I've totally made a mess. I mean like big time made a mess. Look, she's gonna kill me. And I cut the bread miles too thick. Anyway, that aside, how's this doing? Oh yeah, that's definitely pulled a bit of, um, what we're looking at. So it's only pulling 77 watts at the moment, which is a lot less than it was earlier. So I should imagine the sandwich toaster is not pulling any at the moment, but it was well up in the like three, four, five hundreds, wasn't it? Right, let's see how this does. Oh, it's just clicked back on again. So it's 900, 900 watt that's pulling. I don't want to undo the sandwich toaster yet because I've only just put it down, but it is making a noise. Sounds good. Right, let's sum it up. Um, brilliant bit of kit. It's a lot lighter than the uh, two kilowatt one, or the two and a half kilowatt one, two, three. It's a lot lighter than that. I'm not saying you can carry it with your little finger, but it is definitely lighter. Um, Ideal for camping. Um, if you're camping, great, use the solar panels and um, you'll have more than enough power. And I should imagine a little low, amp, uh, low wattage heater, no problems at all. So, um, well, I hope you found this useful. Um, as always, do leave a comment below. Uh, please like, subscribe and, uh, and share. Ring the bell for notifications. Um, if there's any discount codes, they'll be in the um, in the description below. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and bye for now.